Hey, it was Adam from Texas, but now one here back on Mud, and we got a playoff. Steve Smith. Now, Madden's term with legends is like kind of loose because we got Darrell Reeves last week. We got Steve Smith this week. My guess is we're getting these cards because they want to save the other legends for later on. We still haven't got Curtis Marvin. We still haven't got Walter Payton. There's a lot of cards in this game we have not gotten yet. So, I ain't complaining though. We got Steve Smith, 97 overall wide receiver from his playoff performance against the Rams back in 2005 when he caught that touchdown pass in overtime to win the game. So, this guy's card. It's kind of funny because this guy is pretty much a flashback card. I'm kind of annoyed because what are they going to do with the flashback cards, right? Because I thought we get a flashback Grill Revis, a flashback Steve Smith, a flashback Michael Vick, but because we're getting playoff legends from back in the past, it's essentially the same thing. So I don't know. Let's go check this guy's set out real quick before we get to opening some packs. We got the Steve Smith 85 overall card and the collectibles. None are listed right now. I don't believe. I don't think anybody's lucky to pull this guy's card. And the announcement just went live about five minutes ago for this stuff being in packs. So let's get to ripping them, and hopefully we can pull that Steve Smith out of that topper. Also, to note real quick, Dick Lane is also in packs. So I think I might do five legendary packs. I may do some game changes. We'll see how our luck goes. But the topper is going to be last, and let's hope that my luck has paid off because I held on to this pack for Dick Lane, but I did not know Steve Smith would be dropped at the same damn time. And I'd rather have him than Dick Lane. Now, Dick Lane will be like 2 million coins, 3 million coins, but I mean, Steve Smith. I mean, Steve Smith. It's Steve Smith. I got to get Steve Smith. So let's hop into these legendary packs right now. These packs aren't my favorite. I think I opened up a grand total of three, and that's all because I don't like the collectibles you get guaranteed out of these packs. But hey, maybe we can change our luck today and get some good stuff as our gold card right away we get a randall cunningham collectible and we get another gold card yeah i mean i i hate these free agent cards like they don't, there's no set for this one so this guy's getting quick so no set for that guy and that was his base card that's a good five thousand coins what else has no set uh this okay that guy's set. i guess just that was just a bad first pack so let's move on to the second one Hoping out of these five packs, I can pull a Steve Smith collectible and get some coin real quick. I want to do the set, but I think it might be better than this other collectible right now. And then go ahead and just buy the card later on because the set's going to be stupid expensive. Plus, it requires an elite badge as we get a Jim Dre. Do not know why this guy got upgraded. I mean, really? Isn't he a, wasn't he a fullback recently? I don't know why the guy got upgraded. He's a good run block, though. As we get a semi ball collectible, these collectibles I want to avoid right here because they go for no coin. And our last card is a Mike Bristle free. Yo, I might need to stop. Like, yo, I got two free agent. Road the playoff cards and back to back packs. No one damn would have no value at all. So that's not good. That's not good. It's not a good start to these packs. That's not a good start to these legendary packs. And reason why I try to avoid them. A Keller Winslow collectible. So nothing else out of this pack is going to be probably no elites. Tyron Matthew, Vance Walker, Joe Mays. Oh, whew, this is just a punch in the gut right here. This is just a punch in the gut. I am not getting nothing. Matt Sloss, 84 overall left guard for the bears and our card is perry riley's how many packs we got left we got one more legendary pack to open up yeah one more legendary pack to open up then i might slide to the game changer packs we'll see but that topper got to be good because so far this pack opening has not been too great not been too great at all james laurinitis we get another blended collect more same thing as, as uh, what do you want to call uh, the semi ball adrian wilson who's not in this i don't think yep oh my goodness man i might get no value here to get a daryl smith the wrong smith i need 86 overall team with middle linebacker and no elite so i have not pulled an elite in about two days that's crazy that is crazy so let's go ahead and hop into these game changer packs uh, don't want to do five of these because i want to save these packs just for other things but I got to open them because Steve Smith is in the game. So is Dick Lane. So let's go ahead and try our luck out of these game changer packs. You know, I might do the legendary packs to save these. No, yeah, we'll do legendary packs because these packs have not been the greatest. And then we'll focus on the legend topper. And we're going to keep the game changer just in case. So let's go back to legendary packs because these packs have been awful. So I'm not going to switch my luck up in the game changer packs since I'm not wasting those at all. Dwayne Allen, Stefan Paella. As we get a Blanda, oh my god, this is setting up for you, Blanda, an Ice Bowl collectible. Red Brian, the best pull out of this pack. He's going for the most coin. That pack was pretty tragic. The Ice Bowl collectible is around 7,500 coins. Michael Kendricks, man, this is probably why you guys shouldn't buy legendary packs. <laughs> oh my goodness, yo. Jack Ham collectible. I haven't even put a Rick Legend uh, player yet, which is kind of sad. Shelly Smith not going for much. Michael Kendricks is a fast linebacker. Brandon Spikes is pretty dull, pretty solid himself, but, yeah, he's pretty slow. 74 speed and high school net pack being more Keith Pouncey. 
into the next legendary pack. Dewan Landry. Uh, Cedric Thornton. I mean, these golds, man. These golds. Certificate of Authenticity, like I need one of those. Larry English. Fred Belitnikov Collectible. And a TJ Lang. We just got two legendary packs left, so I have not pulled anything worth value besides some of the gold cards and nothing too impressive. So hopefully this last two packs changes up the luck. First, really? Aikman? Really? 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 Okay. I, I, I don't even, Can I get like a Jonathan Stewart? Like, yes, finally. I got sub there at Elite. Like, I finally got a Panther. I wanted this guy last night. He's going for 40,000 coins. Kind of expensive. Not a bad card. 94 speed, 94 carry, 95 elusiveness. So, this guy's probably my new halfback right behind Jamal Charles. So, I'm, I'm cool with that. Finally got myself an elite pool, which means if I get nothing else, I'll have something for the thumbnail. <laughs> oh, my goodness, yo. That's, this is crazy. This is crazy. Are the odds get turned down? Like, what's going on right now? Since, like, like the free stuff came back and the odds got turned right back down, it went, went to being cold because I'm not getting nothing. Like, I can't even get a player. But we got one more legendary pack to get into, so let's hope. Yes, I was, I was kind of nervous. I thought the top card might be the collectible. Let's hope Steve Smith is in this pack. Let's go. And we get a damn Reno collectible. So no rookie legend player. It looks like just a bunch of collectibles to go ahead and sell, which is unfortunate. We get a Gary Williams and a Lovey Smith. So overall pack, loving 10 legendary packs. Awful. <laughs> just awful. Like, I got nothing really at all besides the Jonathan Stewart everything else was pretty much just terrible which is just tragic but we still got the legendary topper held to this bad boy for the longest time I was so close to opening it up last week for Lawrence Taylor but I said I'm gonna go ahead and wait because I want a chance to get Dick Lane and this is the perfect time because if I would open it last week I would have kind of felt sad but this is perfect because I can still pull Lawrence Taylor I'm probably not going to like, I'm probably going to pull George Blanda, which means it's going to be filled with cuss words, which I normally do on my channel, but then, <sighs> this is so, so much pressure. It's too much pressure. This is way too much pressure right now. Like I said earlier, I'm saving the Game Changer packs because, yo, I, yeah, the Legendary pack, those, those are awful. Those were awful. So I'm going to save these Game Changer packs for something else, but <sighs> I'm nervous. You guys ready? Hit that thumbs up button. Let's get into the Elite. Legendary topper in the comment section below. Who you guys think I'm gonna pull? You gonna pull George Blanda? You think I'm gonna pull Steve Smith? You think I'm gonna pull Darrell Reeves? Think I'm gonna pull like a middle of the road, a uh, behind green, uh, Emmitt Smith, somebody like that? I'm leaning towards pulling like a 94 or lower because that just sounds perfect. Bad luck, Texas, right? That just sounds perfect. Whew. All right, let's get into the elite legends topper. Who do we get? We get a Randall Cunningham. Oh, that would have been a good pull back like three months ago. <laughs> that would have been a solid pull. I, he's not bad as he's just not going for as much as he once was with all the quarterbacks being in this game. Damn it. I was hoping to pull Steve Smith. I was hoping to pull Steve Smith. We got around Cunningham, 87 overall. I mean, 87 speed, 89 throw short, 95 throw power. Oh, my goodness, man. If that would have been Steve Smith, that would have been clutch. But I'm going to have to go find a way to get Steve Smith now because that legendary pack I had was tragic and so was the topper. Ronald Cunningham was not bad, don't get me wrong. He's just not going for the value that I wished he was when I first had the top. But it is what it is. I'm the Texas boy. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick pack opening. I'll be back later on today with the announcement for the giveaway winners that I was supposed to do last week, but I just didn't do it. So stay tuned for that. I'm the Texas boy. Peace.